Tony Hawk's Pro Skater is an original classic that was released for the Dreamcast, Sony PlayStation, Nintendo 64, and Game Boy Color, and it was eventually released for the short-lived N-Gage. There are five modes to choose from, which are Career, Single Session, Free Skate, Two-Player, and Options. Career is where you have to do as many out of five tasks as you can before two minutes run out. If you complete enough tasks, you unlock a new level. All levels in this game are great, are designed um, very well. You also get to choose which pro scare you want to choose from, including Tony Hawk. There are about 12 of them to choose from. You also get to choose what board trucks and color of wheels you want to use for the run. The controls and gameplay are great. The engine is fabulous. There are a variety of tricks to do, from kick flips to nose grabs to inverts to 50-50 grinds. Some of the soundtrack on this version have the full songs, and some of it have loop versions with no vocals, but it's still good. The reason I have to, had to mute the sounds in the soundtrack is because I don't want my butt in trouble. This game has spawned many sequels, including Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, 4, Underground, Underground 2, Un American Wasteland, Project 8, Proven Ground, Tony Hawk Ride, Tony Hawk Motion, lots of sequels. A bunch of them, are, the mo most of them are great, but anything after Proven Ground just sucks. They also spawned some spin-offs, including Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarder, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 1 and 2, and Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer. This game is just that great. Thank you for watching this review, and please stay tuned for tomorrow's video. And please subscribe, comment, rate, like, whatever. Bye-bye.